What's going on guys, Blazing here, and today we're going to have the Raid Challenge video. Today I want to talk to you guys about 3v3 Arena, and is it worth doing? Uh, in my opinion, I think there's about 4 or 5 times a month where it's worth doing. Two of them are doing CVC. It's a great point of resource for CVC. You could do, with about 400 gems per day, you could do close to, you know, 130,000 points, 140,000 points. Uh, as long as you're in like gold 4 or gold 3. It's still roughly about the same. Uh, you know, give or take like 10,000 points if you're in a less bracket like gold 2 or gold 1. But, and it's definitely a great source in silver and in bronze. More in silver than bronze, but if you can push up to gold 1, it's definitely a great point gainer for CVCs. So that's two of the times. So, you know, when you have your PR CVC and your non PRs, those are great times to uh, be farming 3v3. The other times is when these events pop out where we have the tag team arena tournaments. So, 2,900 points, basically. So, that's basically three, three refills. Um, so you get your one for doing your faction wars, and then you get the one at reset. And then if you just want to get it over and done, you spend the 15 gems, you get it done, or you just wait for reset day, for reset time. Um, as long as you're in gold. If you're in silver or bronze, it, it may take a little bit of gems. I think you have to buy at least one refill per day. So, um you would have to spend like a, what is it like 45 gems but you would gain for 45 gems you would basically gain the ancient shard the um soul stones chicken and then actually it's only 15 gems or 25 gems sorry um that you would use so i think it's a good return on investment as long as you can do it and then depending on how far you want to push up you could always go for the relentless gear Sorry, my nose is itchy. Um, suggestions on how to be able to complete this, right? So I always float between gold three and gold four. Uh, non CVC weeks, I drop down to gold three. During CVC uh, weeks, I push up to gold four. That way, I only have to push once every other week. I don't really need to be in gold four every day. I have an abundance of bars. I buy everything I need to from the bazaar, right? I have cooldowns on everything that I want. The only thing I'll probably want is this skill tome. And I could probably farm it out in like the next day or so if I really, really wanted to. But I'm in no rush for it. Uh, I buy the gems. I buy the charms. I buy the chest charm every day. The accessory. And these charms. I also buy the ancient shard and the energy refill on cooldown every week. But... I set my one-man defense every Monday after reset, right? So you can see here I'm getting attacked. It is what it is, but I drop down to this level, and if you look, it's um, it, it's like a 30-second farm, not even. You know, we, you go in one second for that fight, two seconds for that fight. And then five seconds in total, I got 100 points, 141 medals. So I definitely think it's worth it. Um, it takes some time. I mean, you got guys like this who, I guess, don't think they should make it easy for anyone else, but you just avoid them. But if I was to reset now, what is it? Eight out of the 10 teams are all farmable in under 30 seconds. So. Um, the game mode might not be as enjoyable for everybody. Uh, I kind of have mixed feelings. I like it because it allows me to play with different arena teams and arena comps so I can try my arena comps on 3v3 for flat push and see how they work, like my defenses and stuff. So, um, granted you're not going up against uh, another human, you're going up against the AI, but if... Uh, whoever the opponent is has set up their AI properly, it can make it a little, you know, challenging. Um, what I would like to see when they do real-time arena is uh, 
instead of having those three teams separate, you basically have, okay, these are my four starter champs. And then on the bottom here, you'd have your eight other champs. And so would the other player. And you can switch in. So let's say I wanted to take my Conan out and take Torment out and put my CP in. Or take my Ronda out and put my Rodos in. Right? I wanted to be able to do it that way. Um, I think that would actually be kind of cool. So you're kind of playing, um, what, what was it, like Street Fighter you used to be able to do that in? Or is it Mortal Kombat? I don't like, I can't remember exactly. But you like, you picked like your team and then you could swap them out uh, miss battle. I think that would be kind of cool. And then, you know, you could maybe do, they could time it where it's like, you can change one every minute for free. And then the only other time you'd be able to change it is if one of the champs died. So, you know, I think, I think something like that would be kind of cool. That would be, that would be, I think, a, a fun game mode for 3v3 Arena. Uh, this just kind of gets a little repetitive, a little boring, but I like it because it allows me to build my teams and then I can come in here and try them out uh, rather than going into plat push and testing them that way and kind of hinting off at what you can do for the rest of the week. So... Most people usually don't pay attention to 3v3. They'll just make sure that they're not getting attacked, that there's four, they're supposed to be in Call of Day. But so there you have it, guys. Um, yeah, those are the times where I would say 3v3 Arena is worth to do. Um, if you need help with uh, getting proper teams for a 3v3 Arena, let me know. Find me in Discord. We can chat. We can go through your teams um, and try to figure out what kind of synergy you have. Uh, whether we can get you into, you know, Silver 4, Gold 1. Uh, I'll do the best that I can to help you out. But um, until next time, I will catch you guys later. Bye.